going on guys welcome back to a brand new video we are here today with john who is he's the local chef today so, not a chef <laughs> so for the brand new viewers my name is slovi um not really a lot going on today it's saturday both boredom i was out driving around he was getting antsy he said do you seen the uh where'd you see these at uh co-worker told me about them so his coworker told him about them. I've seen them on TikTok. I have nobody to credit for it, as far as like recipe or whatever. He he's doing his thing, and they are the uh, shotgun shell manicotis. So real quick, how that works is we got, and I'll flip the camera. Actually, I'll do that right now. You got your ground beef, Gianelli sweet sausage, a couple mixing bowls, thin cut. Well, he's got the thick cut bacon, but we have thin cut too over here. It's open. Breakfast sausage, sharp cheddar, manicotti, cutting board. Got some seasonings too that we're going to hit it with right before some sweet rub and then we are i think adding this to one of the meats i think the breakfast sausage we talked about all right guys since i didn't press play on the last take <laughs> this is so as you all know i've been trying to keep the video short so we're just going to get some things prepped up i'll show you that and then once we figure out how to actually stuff the manicotti and whatnot, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll get that process, tell you how to do it. And we'll, in the comments, not in the comments below, in the description below, we will put, or I'll put the, uh, the recipe or just kind of what we got, probably not to the T, but, and then from there, we'll get it on the grill. So hope you enjoy this one. We're hungry. It's the day after St. Patty's Day. We may or not may do some adult time drinking because this these shells have to sit in the fridge for four hours to set up so you can only imagine see you guys soon so what we're doing here is mixing up the gianelli and the ground beef did you get a specific ground beef like i did 85 fat? i did 85 15 just to uh, kind of reduce a little bit of the fat there's gonna be enough in the sausage So you guys get the gist. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch him mix the meat, but at some point here, we're going to, we'll turn the camera back on and throw the cheddar cheese in there. Yeah, we're going to add the cheese here in a few. <laughs> so this one's for you. <laughs> so I am going to dump till John tells me to stop. Half the bag. Oh, that's more than half. Oh. Perfect. Just to be clear, this is my first time doing this too, so this is a whole trial run. I have faith in the two of us, so it's going to be unbelievable. I was under the impression you was going to be cooking corned beef today, so I don't know how this happened. I did say that last night, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> so I'm going to bring something up in this video right now, and then you guys in the comments below let me know if you think that's something you would be interested in us doing. Um... I have a lot of hunters in my life. I hunt too, but I haven't, you know, harvested a deer in probably, I would say five, six, seven, eight, nine years. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to get all the seasonings and cure venison to do corn venison. I'd be interested. I'd watch that one. <laughs> would, would you record that one? <laughs> oh. You're the only person I, well, I know a lot of people got deer last year, but... Probably the only one that would take the time to do it with you. Do it with me. Well, I might start getting phone calls now. So, but in the comments below, let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I've always been, I've heard good things, and that's about all. A little hot sauce. This one is the breakfast sausage, and we are gonna add. And I just tried it. It's actually a local farm or whatever in. Uh... Thousand Island area. 
Grove Gourmet, G, I'm guessing it's G and G, hot habanero pepper sauce. And it's, when I was looking on the back, yep, made by Apple Grove Farm in Mexico, New York, Route 16. Apple Grove Farm.com. Say one. No more. That's good. I'm going to have you add some cheese to this, Mike. He always has such nice candles over here, and to my surprise, he's got a tin today. It's weird. My mother gave me that. <laughs> Usually they're like these wood crackly ones that snap and pop. and They're called wood wicks. Wood wicks. This one is a... Uh... Yeah, that's a Yankee candle. Settle down, buddy. All of it? No. No. <laughs> no. It's going anyways. No. You can save it. Put the camera down. Never. Do it for the content. All right. Well, Mike doesn't know. Are we recording right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what Mike doesn't know is once we stuff the first manicotti here and get it all set up, he's going to put that camera down. He's going to put some gloves on. He's going to start stuffing them, too, because I don't think it's <laughs> going to be very fun. I stuff jalapenos quite a bit, and it takes it does take a while. I don't, I don't know if I've ever done my... I think I have done my stuffed jalapenos on here. All right. So here is a demonstration of stuffing a shell. I'm sure it's all self-explanatory, but it's for you people. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> Definitely time consuming. I'll make sure they're packed all the way down. Not good. Let's go out this side. So John was just saying that if you leave any part of the shell uncovered, it ends up being harder than the rest of the shell. So when you're rolling it up in that bacon, make sure you cover all the square footage. And just like that. So with this particular one, we're going to come back to these ones that don't have the hot spicy sauce in them. And we're going to hit them with that seasoning and we're going to thoroughly coat the outside of them prior to throwing them in the fridge for the four hours. So I'm going to cut this camera off, throw on some gloves here and give him a hand to speed up the process. Um, get a little extra horsepower in there. <laughs> Call me slow. <laughs> and uh, then we'll come back when we have a tray full of shotgun shells. So we'll see you then. Good thing your microphone's on and I got all that crunch. <laughs> How is it? They're, they're good. Have you had these before? Not the buffalo ones. So guys, we're doing some munching over here. I'll show you what we've been eating. <laughs> Might as well, because I love these things. And they have a... You get them at Tops. The crunch rolls. And you could get macaroni and cheese stuffed ones and then there's another one it's a uh, green pepper with like a cream cheese in there and those ones are my favorite and then today we tried the Budweiser beer batted cheese sticks and both in the air fryer pretty good that's the crunching you hear on camera <laughs> be generous guys be generous
So we got, we're seasoning those ones up. I just showed you a close up. And then the other ones, we're going to put a thin layer of sauce on, I think, when they're, when they're smoking. And so the next step is they go right in the fridge for four hours. And we do some things. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, get that camera off me, bro. Go to the fridge for four hours, guys. Gives them time to set up. It's back there. A lemon. For all of you that are wondering, this fridge is set for 37 degrees. <laughs> And then that's what we had left over. This is the burger with this, with the Ginelli sausage in it. And then this is just the breakfast sausage. Probably just throw them on the grill so they don't go to waste. So there you have it. So when we come back, everything's gonna go to the grill, get smoked, and we'll talk then. Peace. If you're enjoying this video, comment below. Let us know if there's any other ones like this you like. So this whole clip here, my microphone failed on me. And one of the things we talk about is the last clip. We went to a place called Griff's Brewery on 104 in Spencerport. And we kind of shouted out the owner. The, he showed us a great time there. Very knowledgeable. Told us a lot about the beers we were drinking. And just a nice homey feel when you go in there. So we just wanted to shout that place out. And then other than that, we were just putting the meat and stuff on the grill. So unfortunately, I lost about a minute from the microphone. But you're not really missing out on too much. They were on the grill for an hour. At about, I want to say it was like in between like 275 and 325 degrees. And it was a perfect amount of time. And the shells were soft, or they weren't hard. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. Sorry about the mic not working. There it is. The hickory coming out of the grill. Ready? That was a little good. Even the top ones look way better. Yeah, we're going to have to start we're rotating. Get, that smoke's coming out. We soaked the uh, wood chips for four hours, too. Let's close that. We're gonna get some tongs. We're gonna move it. That sweet baby raisin is gonna look nice on those, huh? It's playing. So this is what we got. We lost all the breakfast sausage ones. So we're just gonna barbecue them all. And I think you'll be able to know which ones are the breakfast sausage ones because of the spicy the sauce we put in you. them. Do yeah. you need a brush? Oh, I gotta do this? This is your show. Like, you got me shaking. It's your man. channel. You got me all nervous. I'm just putting it out there, that cabbage that I was just eating is so freaking good. <laughs> it's cold out here. So we gotta do what, this on there for 10 minutes, you think? Yeah, five or 10. Yeah. Five or 10. This 
So John told me yesterday that he was probably going to cook corned beef and cabbage today, and this is what it turned into. Yep. And then we stopped at Griff's Brewery, which really escalated things. That was your idea and your fault completely, 100%. Don't even argue. That beer sounded awesome. It's delicious. Their beer that's called The Beer is... I got to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. I don't know what you're going to expect. It's phenomenal. They look like shotgun shells, huh? Not really. Here, Dave. Let me get a new fork and a knife, would you? All right, guys. We tried them. John liked them. The people we were with, I didn't want to put them on camera because I didn't know if they were into it. And uh, these things came out really good. I did mine. I'm going to eat one on camera just so you can see what it looks like. We got the barbecue sauce on the end of it. We only put it on there for like five minutes, and they are pretty delicious. We decided that the breakfast sauces with the spicy sauce we put in it were the better of the two. Um, I like them both just as well, but hey, I like that little kick at the end as well. So here you go. shotgun shells like i said i don't have a video that i can shout out because i've seen a bunch of them and this was john's idea today so good idea we had a really fun good day i haven't done a cooking video in a while so this was a fun one let's get me to that 2000 subscribers and guys do me that favor Tell your grandmas, your grandpas, your moms, your dads, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your frenemies, your enemies. All them about these videos, like and share them. I'm looking, there's freaking snow coming down like crazy. Like and share them. Tell everybody about them. I love you guys. Peace out. And we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Peace.